Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the 10 top tweaks for iOS 8.3 and also 8.4. So to get things started, I'm going to be working on with my theme. So everything that's going to be going on, it's still available. It's just going to look a little different because I have tweaks that are just making it a little bigger or smaller depending on what tweak it is. Alright guys, so the first tweak I'm going to be showing you guys is a tweak called Folder Enhancer. So right here in the top left hand corner I have a hidden folder and this is not part of the tweak just to let you guys know. So as you guys can see it's a 4x5 grid instead and the icons are a little smaller. Uh, this isn't part of the tweak but the grid actually is. So you could default it to 3x3 or you can increase the size by how much you want. It is very nice to have as you can have uh, different folders inside. So for example I have my internet stuff right here and there's uh, different icons. It's also a 4x5 grid but I just like to have different folders just for this demo as well. So for the next tweak I'm going to be showing you guys is available on the lock screen and it's called Priority Hub. So basically instead of having notifications just scrolling up and up and up on your lock screen it pretty much just organizes it. So for example this is a fake iTunes a notification number one that it has integrated in the uh, tweak itself. So basically what it is whatever app it has a notification on you click the number which uh, it corresponds to how many notifications are in it and there you go that's how many notifications are in that particular app. So coming in on number three on the list is Spring to Minus 3. Just like Bigify, it also has a lot more features than that. And Spring to Minus 3, I've actually used the icon resizer for the dock. So as you can see, the icons are a lot smaller. As well as inside folders, like how I just uh, demonstrated with Folder Enhancer, it also shrinked the size to that. Looking at the tweak preferences, you can also adjust animation speed, app slider, control center, dock, folders, icons, lock screen, notification center, pages, and also the status bar as well. The next tweak on the list is Safari Downloader Plus. This tweak is very self-explanatory, so basically all you can do is when you're in Safari, you can actually download stuff and it'll actually go into your directories and you can choose wherever you want it. So for example, right here, I've downloaded the IPSW for my phone for 8.4. The next tweak is not actually a tweak, it's an app, but I really like it and it should be also in your guys' hacking folder as well on your phone and it's called iFile. So basically what it is, is uh, if you don't know, basically what it is is you could just look through your root directory and actually look at uh, what's inside and what makes your iPhone and all that. But most of the stuff you should not mess around, especially going into the slash var folder because those stuff have to do with your system files. So for the users that use their phone a lot at night like I do, Flux is also a very interesting tweak that I like. So basically what this tweak does is it adjusts your backlight on your phone to give it a sort of like an orange tint to it. So as you can see from that transition as I enabled it, you can actually change the setting so it's a little bit more orange So for candlelight, incandescent, halogen, fluorescent, middle sun, and iOS default. So this next tweak I'm going to be showing you is inside the settings itself. So basically what it is, is it's called detail battery usage. So if you go into general usage, battery usage, you actually get a chart up here which explains uh, your battery life cycle throughout the past 24 hours. So looking at it a little closer, as you can see that it's a full charge up here and throughout here was last night going down, charging, going down as well so this is very useful especially if you don't know uh, how much your battery is using and how you want to look at it throughout the day and how much your battery has dropped so the next tweak i'm going to be showing you guys is a tweak called iCleaner pro but it's basically an app so basically what it is is it actually goes through uh, for example your messages applications over the air safari cydia and it cleans out a lot of your cache files throughout your file system to free up space. It's also one of the most useful things that I use daily on my phone in order to free up space to download stuff and just to free up my file system. So the next tweak I'm going to be showing you guys is a tweak on the lock screen. So on the bottom right here you actually get that Apple Pay looking thumbprint that you can actually use for a scanner. So for example unlocking my phone and I use my thumbprint it actually does a little animation and a check mark before it logs in. And I think it looks really nice with my theme as well because all of my stuff are pretty much on the bottom and it's empty throughout the top. So there it is. Last but not least, the last tweak I'm going to be showing you guys is called YouTube. And basically what it is is you could actually listen to music or audio in the background. So for example, here's my video on the Taiji jailbreak and it's going to be playing. And let's go back. 
and there it is you can actually still listen and hear my video playing so that's all the tweaks i have for you guys today leave a like if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't to get videos just like this in the future also be sure to follow my twitter page as i will be tweeting all of my stuff that's going on with the jailbreak scene as well as when and how i'm going to be prepping my videos so this is it for this episode this is elite apple hacks signing out